what's up everybody it's nerp here and i'm on the test server a bunch of you guys said you want to see more test server stuff because um most of you don't have access to the test server except on mondays where it's open to everybody so they want me they want me to do more things with the test server so you guys get to see that stuff so i'm only person online right now so i'll have to play against the ai but what i plan to do in this video is test a little bit of decay and the new undead stuff that came out so if you go on my channel a bunch of videos ago, you might find um, some test server reaction with Blinky on my channel. Um, I played, I played with the new late game order stuff like Arbalester and Night Sergeant, and uh, I also played with uh, the new Gravelock stuff, which is really awesome. Like these things are really cool and this is makes for crazy plays but uh what i haven't done is test much of growth or decay uh decay seems more interesting interesting to me so i'm gonna do decay right now um growth seems kind of op with that budding better thing that thing looks crazy good but uh so we're gonna we're just gonna start from scratch here see what we can do and how we can incorporate the new scrolls so we're gonna go with mono decay um first i'm gonna try to build the build a good decay deck from scratch not like it, just a normal decay deck, not like YOLO, so like that's a new scroll, but I don't think that'd be good on its own. It's just like a much worse Copper Autumn song, but then again, it has a ward. So I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, so this is like, it's probably like the decay deck I use right now in ranked Slithering form if you're good in structures. Um, let's see, I have these guys, these guys, this. Um, poison might be an option for me because it lasts forever now but the poison scrolls in general were a little bit nerfed um what else do i have i, have, I obviously have brain laces harvester rod eaters mudo fighter i saw blinky using these on the test server um, i'm not two souls on them though for three costs of two health creatures so uh so brittle um restless bones maybe an undead deck but i wanted to see uh if like a lot of times when new st oh, wait, what am I doing? A lot of the time when new scrolls come out, yeah, I'm not gonna use black power at four cost, only in a poison deck. A lot of the time when new scrolls come out, everybody like sees, oh, it's helping the undead scene, so like they're just gonna put them in, the they're gonna make a full on undead deck. That often doesn't work that well. Um, like it's often better just to like take select few and try to mix them in, like not make a deck f f uh, fully centered on something like. A lot of times, like, if you have a full poison deck, like a real full poison deck, then you're going to have, like, everything that does poison, which is including stuff like, um, which is including stuff like, uh, Meiji Rat and, like, the, uh, that weird thing that looks like a bad rot eater, um, Fester and Freak. So you only use like the best stuff, and you still have a, like poison decay sells a lot of elements from mono decay that don't have to do with poison, like probably stuff like rod eaters and life stealers and witch doctors. But so I'm gonna try to incorporate the undead stuff, but we're not gonna have like every undead thing in this deck. So what I first did here is so I usually have two watchers. I think this is a good basis because basically I took out the black bearers, and in place of it is a four drop i think i'm gonna use stitcher because stitcher now is four health on the on the test server so i think that's pretty good and this is one of the new scrolls that people are pretty excited about flesh animator um when it counts to zero all your undead creatures count down by one like we don't have to have every undead creature in the game in this deck for it to be useful because harvesters are undead creatures that'd be really cool to work with him um so our husks that we're gonna get we don't have any other undead creatures, so we might want to go for more of those. And I think what I'm going to do is... Wait, how does this make sense? We have... Am I missing something here? Oh, I'm missing soul steals. Okay, so I usually have three soul steals. So then, what would I have to take out to get that stitcher in? I do like the stitcher, but three four drops. I don't think that's four four drops. It's probably too much. Maybe it would work without flesh. Maybe Omar Hunter would go. Omar Hunter's only good against really growth. I'm gonna order pretty actually too. 
I don't know, but I feel like four health stitcher is going to be really nice. Because Ilmar Hunter's health is reduced to four. And Stitcher's health was increased to four. So they pulled two, two, fours now. With Slayer on the Hunter. And buffing other creatures in the Stitcher. So I'm actually going to take out the Ilmar Hunter. I'm going to see how that works. I kind of like this. So I, I took out... So I still have two four drops. I have, no, I have three four drops. Curse Monger, Flesh Animator, and Stitcher. All four health. Um, I do ha I do like how that looks. Uh, now let me see what are the new the new scrolls I like. So there's Revenant. We're definitely not going to use Revenant. It's not good on its own. Slithering form is an option. I would probably put this in a deck and just have it on reserve if I know I'm fight facing a structure energy deck. A lot of times in ranked, like since the player base isn't that, isn't that high, you oftentimes face the same person like again in ranked. I'm right after it, so I like to pick counter decks and stuff like that. So if I'm positive and facing structure energy, I would probably have like a separate deck with this in it just to quickly pick if I need to, um, because it would just be able to let me just uh, I guess you could just stick this on like a witch doctor for, uh, right before it attacks and just you could surprise your opponent and just win the game. So um, Slytherin Inform is probably a nice card, but it's really not good enough in enough matchups to, I think to warrant a permanent spot in this deck. Wicked Being is like loyal darkling <laughs> so yeah I don't know if we really want that um it's definitely not that bad I remember when wicked being used to be like the like everybody was like it's the worst scroll in the game it probably was uh I have a um top 10 worst scrolls video on my channel so yes you can find that it's pretty old though not that old like Probably like six months. Um, nothing here I really want. Mudo Fighter. Blinky had it in Yolo Decay. Yolo Decay is a lot about doing idle damage, so I can see why you want a low cost four, four attack creature. But I don't think it would have much of a spot in like a main, like a late game, mid game decay like this. It is a human, so help with the Witch Doctor. Maybe we. I find Witch Doctor so important. Like, I think. Right when Decay came out, like, and up until a while ago, was, like, all the, all the rave was out, Rot Eater and Harvester. And since then, I think it's drifted a little more towards Witch Doctor and humans. It just stops growth so hard. So I almost want, right now we only have two creatures in the deck that aren't humans. Well, Husks too, but I don't have them in the deck, but they would be tokens. But Harvester and Rot Eater, I can make it only Harvester, so I put Ludo Fighters in for the Rot Eaters. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Um, Restless Bones. I mean, this isn't like full undead deck, so I don't think we're gonna want that. It would be worth both harvesters, though. I know some people that like run or one or two Restless Bones in the deck just for a surprise. This is one of the scrolls I wanted to I wanted to consider. Anima Conduit. Whenever a non-revenant creature you control is destroyed, a revenant is summoned next to Anima Conduit, and Anima Conduit is dealt one damage. Like. They just had to have the revenant like scroll on its own. Just says like you gotta, you can't have a token without having its own scroll. So this is what would actually be used. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the deck because I think I want to try it out at least. I think it's it has promise. We're not full and tank great card, but we're not gonna have room for it in the deck. Same with infectious blight and uh, hunter obviously. Um, and that's about it that I'm going to be considering. Actually, I want to consider one more scroll, an old scroll, but it might be better with this deck. Myra Shambler. It's undead. So it would work with the, uh, it would work with the Witch Doctor. You know, I'm going to put the Myra Shambler in for the Ripper just for this. I'm just going to test this. I want to take some out so I can test this Anima Conduit. Um, let's get rid of... Maybe the Watcher? The Watchers? It was a Flesh Animator, maybe the horses were going off more often. Um, we 33 gets a lot of creatures. Let's go ahead and take out the Watchers. Uh, and take out... A... Take out some creatures. We have 3 4 drops, 2 5 drops, 1 6 drops. 
two three drops and two two drops and one one drop. Um, let's only run with two anima conduits. I think that's the best bet. Okay, so we'll call this mono decay. So this is my earliest draft, my rough draft of uh, what would be a mono decay to duck out using ranks when waypoint sets the live server. So some nobody's online, so right, I'm only one will journal one. So I'll play a quick match against the hard AI. Uh, mono, mono, did I say mono draft? <laughs> it's the same mono decay. Whoops. Okay. So we're going first. Uh, whatever. I say good luck to the AI. Nice. Good luck back. Um, so I'll draw a new starting hand because I want a one or a two drop. And we do get the turn one marshmallow, so that's good. Um, and I will go ahead and sacrifice the early harvester. A lot of people are afraid to sacrifice the harvesters because they're so, because they're so good. But early on, they're really not that useful. They kind of just sit there and you gotta protect them. That's annoying. Well, there we get our first con with with a uh, Meyer Shambler instead of Ripper. It has one health, which means Ragged Wolves in turn one destroy it. But if that thing's if your opponent doesn't have a like a Ragged Wolf to punish you, I think you're really well off. Like really well off because um you that was a nice fast start. Um, you have it's something that's going to put pressure on all parts of the board. I'm going to sacrifice the curse monger because I'm using one of the brainless seeds. I really want to get the flesh animator and the citra out. Okay, right, so brainless that. So there. And now, of course, we get the tribesman mystic. Okay. Um. Let's see. Linguid is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get down the stitcher. So I think that's more important to have a lower countdown, so I'll get that out first. Because the animator won't be a big deal. So is he gonna move down and engage me? But no, he's the hard AI. If it was like a real actual person, I'm sure they would come down and like wreck me. Um I'm gonna go ahead and start to hurt him. Not hurt him, but like nullify him. So I will I languiding you would just bring you down to one attack because of the the Mystic stops that, gives it one extra attack for enchantment. So if I land with you, you will have zero attack. And then I'm going to sacrifice the Rot Eater and play the Soul Steel on you. And I guess I'll move you back here. Yeah, so the extra one health on this Stitcher is really important, especially if you something like Growth of Veterans. You wouldn't be able to play a Veteran right now anyways. So there is a Kinfolk Ranger. That could be a problem if I don't take care of that, like a Demon Curse eventually. But it looks okay right now. And we're gonna sacrifice that Necrian Life Stealer. So we'll grab that. And I'm going to move up and stitch it up. Because seven health life stealer versus growth, growth has no direct removal. That's gonna mean so much because there's almost gonna be nothing that can kill it, and I'm gonna be able to heal every other turn because it's gonna destroy everything. So that's why I stitched that guy. Um, and my shambler one health, as we saw, is very, very, very frail. Um, we get a damage curse and a harvester. Uh, duh, 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 duh. going to sacrifice the. The damage curse. So I really, I just want to see the interaction with Van and the Harvester. See if it's really that good. Uh, Maybe different in a real match. Um, I'm going to get out the Flesh Animator now. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have something for uh, for my to be able to kill this Life Stealer. If he's a veteran, he actually can. Uh oh. Alright, he can't. Oh, he had a veteran. Why did come on, hard AI? You have to be harder than that. <laughs> he had a veteran. Is that a glitch where it like slows down and does it for all those units individually? I think it used to be like that before uh, on the live server, but then changed. Okay, so now we can go ahead and I'm gonna sacrifice the Oblivion Seeker. 
put down. I can both have moving silver cards. And yeah, that's what I want. I wanted a two job to put down with it. So I'm able to destroy that stuff. I'm going to place down this stuff. And we're not going to move up and attack there. I'm going to move down and attack there. I am, I would consider stitching the Darkling to something this turn because Darkling's not very useful anyways. We do it some metal damage and the Harvester's counts and we go down. I could get more attack in a relentless unit or I can make any of these two counts and creatures stronger. I would probably use the Flesh Hammer. This guy doesn't need to be stitched again. He's already a two shot to an idol and he's not going to die to growth. But I'm going to hold off. I'd rather have protection for this animator. And I want to kill that wolf while I can. So yeah, as you saw, like now, like when it's going to be my turn, this guy's countdown is going to go down to two. Yep, it worked. So that worked out really well. And that would work with Myra Shamblers too, so that's why I put Myra Shamblers in the stack. So I think this is going to be pretty good. I will go ahead and sacrifice the Oblivion Seeker. We can hold off on the Brainless until next turn. I don't like sacrificing Oblivion Seekers. They're great stitching targets because you're getting card draw when you're stitching them. But I do want to get more creatures on the board versus growth. Card draw doesn't matter a whole ton versus growth. Um, I don't want to move up because I feel like I could die from these guys. He has to destroy three idols to win, so I'm fine with where I am. And just in case he can like destroy this out, I'll put that there. That's good. So Brainless kills him next turn and Pother. Okay, so it looks like one of the animators is gonna die. Two animators with a harvester means you don't even it's like just like a harvester with it's like a eight around eight attack relevant scene with a two count that normally just count, goes off like every other turn or something. Or more than every turn, like every three turns it would attack. But so he gets a pot there. Luckily, he didn't like kill my harvester though. Um, I'll, well, his heart I die. So it's not like an actual person, like I said. So he just left his brother wolf open to kill from the dark one. That means we were able to sacrifice the moonrise and play the witch doctor, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, so I'll kill you. I will go ahead and kill you. I'm gonna put you in the front because I need protection. I'm gonna move you here because I want to be able to kill this guy and this guy next turn. And I'm not gonna stitch anything. Actually, maybe I should have stitched the uh, the back darkling there to the harvester so it just has more relentless attack. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so now these guys will finally have less attack, and I'm going to. Sacrifice for the harvest is going. All right, let's sacrifice her cards. Witch doctor, another witch doctor is a good draw. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, witch doctor was changed to four attack in the test server. Still a very good scroll though, even with that little attack, little attack uh, nerf. Um, I don't really want to engage here, but I think I'm actually safe because then this harvester can just come down and kill everybody. And instead of putting down Witch Doctor because I'm engaging like that, I'm going to just put an Oblivion Seeker in front so I can get card draw at least. And I'll put you in front of here so Ragwolf doesn't kill you. And I want you to kill a creature actually soon so you can heal up to 7 health. It's looking good for us right now. And he doesn't do anything. But our Harvester is going to get to 1 countdown already. It just attacked last turn. Yes, that's on. Or no. Wait. Oh no. What am I talking about? I was thinking for a second this was a Flesh Animator. Stitcher and Flesh Animator look a little bit similar. Same color scheme and stuff. Uh, I'll sack this resource to play the Shambler and the Witch Doctor. Um, 
going to go ahead and kill you, obviously. I'll move you down. I'm going to play a Shambler. And I'm going to Stitch. See, Stitch can also be used to count on the Harvester because it's a unit dying. So you can control your own units dying without having to like damage curse and souls to your own units. So that's really good. I'm going to make this a 5-3 creature. It's going to attack next turn with the Flesh Animator. So now I have the Harvester attack next turn plus the Myra Shambler. And that's going to be really good. Because Myra Shambler, remember, counts on, on its own as well as from the Flesh Animator. Uh, because it's undead, and the harvester will just count off from the flesh animator. So they both attack next turn, and maybe I can win. And let us get another witch doctor out. And you can go ahead and wreck whatever I need to in case I can't win next turn. But yeah. Okay. Eventual Vetter and Eventual Vetter. Okay. Um, can we win? Let's see. I don't really know if we can. Probably can. Let's see. So, yeah, and also Damage Curse won't kill that guy now that it's three health. So, that stitch I think was worthwhile. So, let's see. Two plus eight is ten, and that is eleven health on that bottom idol. Uh. A damning curse, let's say this guy, then a harvester takes down that whole thing. No, I can't win. I'm not I'm actually not close to win. I don't know what I'm talking about. I will I'm not gonna damage curse, I can kill all the important stuff I need to kill this turn. So let me go ahead and do it like this. That kills you. I'll have you kill them, you can hit an idol, and I'll just have it like that, and then that kills everybody on their, his side of the board, so I don't have to use the language. Okay, that was good. So, so far what we learned from this match is Stitcher has been very good for me. Flesh Animator isn't really good, even though I only have really Harvesters and my Shambler is my undead units. And it looks like we're gonna get to actually try this Anima Conduit also in this game. Um, actually, can we win this turn? Sick. Yes, we can win this turn. Um, yeah, we can. But I'm going to well. You know, we just just won. I feel like winning. Okay. So, GG to Mr. Hard AI. Let's see, if I say GG before the match is over, will I say GG? Oops. Maybe that's like perfect wording, I don't know. That doesn't look like it. But, I wanted to get those anima condos out, but you kind of get what they do. Quick pause screen and read that if you don't know what it does. It summons like... It's like a forge for copper automatons, basically. These revenants are kind of like copper automatons, but they're with a ward and they only have one health and two attack. So, that's what those are. And I think those could be pretty decent, but didn't get to test as much. I'll do more testing off camera and stuff. And maybe I'll do another video like this for the order, energy, and growth decks, but I don't know. So, tell me what you guys think of this kind of video. Um, many of you said you want to see more test server stuff, so I delivered, but I don't know if it was uh, that exciting. Or. But because the normal rank stuff is a little stale until like waypoints comes out. But uh, that's about it. So remember to submit your top place to scrolls plays of the week. Um, subscribe for more content like this. Like the video if you enjoyed. Dislike if you did not enjoy. And keep on playing scrolls. So I will see you all next time.